Sure. So this is my third video in a row of recording. Just because I've had so much on my mind. Uh, well, not really on my mind. It's just so many ideas out of nowhere just popped in my head. When I was thinking of other ideas, you know. You kind of just ping pong different ideas. I do one video, leads to another video that I'm like, oh, I should do that, 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 and that. So that that's how I kind of that's how I got, kind of got to this video. So the topic of this video, I don't really know what I call it. I think I'll just say legal, it'll probably be something like legal trouble in supermarkets. Something along that kind of basis. So this is a story that happened, what, I think about a year ago now? It's close to a year ago. This was at my other job. Obviously, with saying legal trouble in supermarkets, I have to kind of, I can't say too many names. I can't say too many names because, um, yeah, I just can't. So this happened about a year ago at my other job. So where do I start? So we'll call this guy. We'll call this guy Pedro. Okay. Pedro is the guy I'll be talking about. So. Pedro ended up coming, well, ended up joining, you know, the supermarket I was working at. I think it was a couple months before the situation. It didn't take long for everything as well. Okay, so Pedro ended up coming, you know, coming to the job. He was actually a really good worker. He was actually very kind and all that, you know, all signs of maybe sometimes, you know, something going wrong. But, in my opinion, when he first started out, he was very likeable, kind, and easy to talk to. Which made all this kind of... Which made all this very... Sad to hear, I guess you could say. So anyway, a couple months go by. Everything's, everything seems to be fine, alright? Everything... Pedro seems to be fine. Nothing weird about him. But fast forward to a couple months, you know, he's, you know, gotten, he's gotten, um, comfortable at the, you know, at the company and, uh, he starts to do a couple weird things. So I guess we can give a couple traits that Pedro has. So he's very kind. He's super talkative and, um, I how do I free? He's um very open, I guess. He's like he likes he he's very open with you know what he likes, what he does, and all that stuff. And is especially very open with females. So what ends up happening is trying to think about this without giving away names there's there, okay there was a situation that happened so a couple of my friends mates from my job i still you know talk well yeah i still talk and hang with them every now and then one of them was my best friend so the best friend uh the best friend we'll call him geordie okay my best he's one of my best friends i've got like three we'll call him geordie so and then the other friend we'll call him bob because why not so geordie ends up hearing a story from bob and at this time geordie bob and i well me and geordie basically we didn't actually know Bob too well. We weren't really acquaintances or friends at this time. Bob just out of nowhere just started talking to Geordie. This is one of the first times he ever talked to Geordie. And he came to him with a situation that he overheard a team leader talking to our manager, you know, the manager of the store, about Pedro apparently doing some very sketchy things. In the store and with he with bob hearing this information he came to geordie 
end up spilling the beans and saying, oh, please don't tell anyone. Jordy then comes to me, spills the beans, which is kind of funny because I remember he told me, oh, yeah, no, there's something I have to tell you, but I, uh, I, I can't. And I was just like, okay, cool. And then he ends up just caving in. He told me, I'm just like, you, sh you shouldn't say anything. It's so much harder when you say, oh, I can't tell you. So apparently Jordy was passing out notes and he was, let's say, he was, they were like kind of disguised as like business cards. Yeah, he was basically giving up business cards with his number, which, you know, it doesn't sound that prolific. It doesn't sound that prolific, right? But the things about these business cards were sometimes it would have like a winky, a smiley face. And yeah, so <laughs> he, ba he, he would give out these business cards. But the weird thing is it would only be to girls. And the even weirder thing was that um, they were basically all two underage girls. And uh, he is definitely, he's in his 30s. And uh, he's given them to all underage girls. He knows they're underage since he's, talk I'm, like like I said earlier, he's very kind of talkative, right? So he, he, he can just start chat whenever. He's not like me at all. So, you know, Pedro's giving out these business cards to underage girls, mostly underage girls. He was giving them to, like, other women as well, but it was mostly underage girls. So, uh, you know, that starts off. That was the, the rumor. And when Jordy, uh, when Jordy was telling me about, like, the story of what was going on, he was just like, oh, bro, so, like, someone that you wouldn't even believe did something a bit weird. You know, so, someone that you wouldn't believe would do anything, did something weird. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, who could it be? I was going for everyone, blah, blah, blah. Like, this is, this just shows how, like, out of nowhere it was for me. Because I did not think of him. Because when he said, oh, it's someone you wouldn't even believe, I, I didn't even have him in mind. So, obviously, this, you know giving business cards i mean it's weird but it's nothing illegal you know it's nothing illegal anyway later on you know we keep we're, we're keeping an eye on them the 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 business you know the the company ends up getting word of this start doing the investigation stuff like that and me and jordan just kind of keep keep an eye out so um what the uh, crap i just lost track. okay me and george just keep an eye out all right so that's what we do keep an eye out on pedro so we're just looking 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 you know after a couple weeks he's good at he's actually very good at hiding it which is kind of um it's kind of, it's not that good that he's really good at hiding it but we notice a lot of things. Basically, every younger girl in the store actively avoids them. Like they actively avoid them. Like it's not even it's not even funny. Like they try to avoid them at like as much as they can. Every single one, every every single underage girl in the store avoids them. Obviously, since, uh, you know, he, he hasn't been giving up too many business cards, you know, at this moment. And we, we're just, like, keeping an eye out for anything. Because what he also used to do is he would walk, like, he would, <laughs> he would walk to, um, he would walk some of these, um, girls to their car. Well, he would, he would try to, you know, he would try to, he will walk out and then he would, he would try walking them. Obviously, they don't, they don't want to be walked with him. Yeah, they, they don't want to walk with him because, you know, he's a bit of a weird cuz he. But anyway, stuff comes out. And I'm trying to be as vague as possible because, you know, I can't, I can't spill all of it. If I could, I would. But a lot of things come out, a lot of 
you know, texting and stuff like that. And it comes out that he's kind of done this at other jobs, allegedly. You know, at other jobs. A lot of other jobs. And also, he used to work at one of the companies that, uh, a company that, the company that I now work at. So he, he's notorious. He's notoriously known throughout basically the whole just the whole area where i live and i'm pretty sure there's a group that you know a group that shares information about him well there's a group there's a group that um on facebook i'm pretty sure where girls and just people in general just like um share information about people to avoid doesn't mean they're like they're violent but it might just be very weird and he's on it so that you know i tell you he's also very notorious i've like asked about him because well, i didn't actually ask about him the people from you know my co-workers knew that i came from that supermarket and knew he worked at it so they ended up asking me about him and they told me all these other stories that um i'm not gonna say on here but uh but yeah, and also why it's called legal troubles in the supermarket is because they try to make a case. They try to make a case. Um, they try to make a case with him, but uh, he ended up winning it. He's very, he's very um, straight up when it comes to, you know, the legal side, the legal side of stuff, which uh, doesn't sound too good. But, uh, you know, since stuff like this has happened before to him, you know, he's very, very conscious of the law. And um, what ended up happening was since the company started the investigation without telling him legally in our country, you can't do that. So the whole case was basically just voided. So everything that they stacked up and they have evidence of, they couldn't pin it against them and... Uh, he got nothing you know he he technically got away with it but uh everyone thought he was weird from then from now on i mean he's like known in like four his three or four other workplaces as a bit of a weirdo so i mean did he really get away with it no but did he get caught no not really